Right guys, you've got simple settings here. You've got power limit just across there. Slide that up to 110. As you see, there's a little red bit there, which is a, a chain link. That links the temp limit and the power limit together. So let's push that to 91. You can prioritize if you want the temps or the power. I'll just leave it on the power limit. You've got your call clock here. Mine's at 11.26. That's purely because I'm recording the desktop and it puts the clocks up. Memory clock's there, 3505. Temperature over here. And megavolts if you wish to up those, but we shan't be touching them because it fails on this. So let's go for something simple. We'll go for plus 104. And we'll go for memory clock something nice and high what 500 I reckon let's do 500 you can type it as well if you want and, uh, tick is apply as you see let's apply that we'll run something nice and quick loading like Tomb Raider As you can see, I've got everything in the top corner there. Shows me everything that is. I've also changed all my names about, but that's starting to get a bit trickier. So we'll do that. Start benchmark. We'll run this just to see if it's stable. So you'll see my clock should drop down once it comes out of that. But basically you set your power limit up to full, 110. Your temp limit should go all the way up because it's linked. You can unlink that if you wish. See, broken the link. But I'll keep it linked so it slides the two together. Your core clock, which is there. And your, your fan speed, which I've got mine set on a one-to-one -one profile on the uh, options there monitoring you can change everything there on your fan this is how I've got my one to one set as you can see 30 is 30 50 is 50 80 is 80 and that goes all the way up and if it gets really hot I've got it going a bit quicker right okay that's your basic uh, MSI afterburner <laughs> 